Hey, how is going everyone? Today I'd like to show you FF Play, which is a video player that comes with FF Impact. But it's much more than that. It's actually, you can use it to preview uh, many filters, audio filters, video filters that you're going to apply later with FF Impact. So it's extremely useful software if you use FMPEG usually and if you want to actually to save time by previewing what you are going to what's going to be the 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 actual end file okay so an important page by the way is the filter page so just head to ffmpeg dash filters okay on the filter documentation now I'll start with I'll I'll show you this video, which is just uh, a video that I found on YouTube. As you can see, you can press the space bar to pause and play, as it happens with M M Player or MPV, etc. Actually, I selected this video because later I'm going to show you. On another video I'm going to show you how to crop this black bar okay but anyway now I'm going to modify a little bit the audio and later the video part so actually I'm going to add uh, something that's very that you can hear clearly the difference such a flanger okay so Everything you have to do, you have to use the same comments as FFMPG aside for the input. You actually don't need to, to type dash I F play, FF play and then the, the file name, it's okay. Then we are going to type dash AF, stands for audio filter. I'm going to add flanger and then I'm going to add some options such as the delay delay equal let's say 30 and the depth to 10 depth equal 10 okay I actually want to also the speed all right there is not so much difference right now as you can hear it's the original there is just a little echo that maybe you can't hear so we're going also to add the speed at maximum which is 10 and now you will hear everything actually I don't need this one, but I need this guy. Oop. Okay. As you can see, as you can hear now, you, you can hear the flanger. Now here you can, by the way, select something less for example all right that's the flanger let me also add uh, something else such as the maybe a um, low filter low pass filter yeah I'll leave it to five that's fine then press comma and mm, high, high pass filter actually high pass and i will cut every freq every frequency below the thousand hertz so we have no basis anymore almost i'm going to put it a little bit more maybe four thousand as you can see now, as you can hear now, we have just the hikes. So from 4,000, what's from 4,000? 
you can hear everything else, everything before from 0 to 4000 it's cut and I can switch actually to 1000 and use a low pass to do the, the, the inverted uh, operation so now I have just the bases Let me also add also another, let me, a vibrato, a tremolo, yeah, let's go with tremolo for 20 hertz, yeah, all right. So, comma, actually I'll delete the low pass, tremolo, equal, step 30. Higher than 20 hertz. Okay, let me try on thousand. Which doesn't work. As you can see, there is something going on. Let me change to 2000. also set a vibrato here now you can hear it I guess that's it all right I'm just going to leave the the flanger at depth of five actually Nope, the speed five, five, and then I'll add some video filter. I'm going to to modify the saturation here, and then I'm going to scale a little bit the the video. So to do that, I'm going to type hue equal zero if I want black or white. Nope, <laughs> actually not. Mm, let me check. Uh, yeah, sure. S equal. As you can see now, it's black and white. White one is the original situation. I can also type less one to invert the colors. As you can see, you can pretty much have everything you want with saturation and so on. Let's go less 10 or plus 10 so max saturation here. I'll leave it to 0 black and white I'm going to add something else here it's just FPS I'm going to set to 5 5 frames per second, as you can see. Or you can even go lower to 1. Or to something more theatre, theatre, let's say. Okay, and I want to scale also. I'm going to scale it to 480p. So scale equal HD 480. So it's automatical scale to 480p. Or I can also scale it to 1080p. HD 1080. You can press F to go full screen. 
can change something else for example the FPS let me, let me go 7 and let me actually go less 1 with the saturation as you can see you can do pretty much whatever you want and preview everything before actual write uh, anything on the disk this is a great tool absolutely if you're using uh, FFMPG right after yeah that's it after you did that you just need to change a few things here okay you can change FFMPG, select the input here, and then you can leave all your filters here and just write to an output, output.mp4. And then it will start writing the, the selected uh, filters, modification, whatever you did. Actually, I can also show you that you can SS 01 000 000 to start the stream at one minute and for a length of three seconds. One, two, three. And then it finished. And then when you are okay, when you previewed everything, it looks how you want, just change this with FFmpeg, put a dash E for the input and give it an output and it will uh, encode all your uh, modifications. All right, hope it was helpful. As you can see here, you find all the filter documentation. I think there is also filter complex, so a more complex filters somewhere in the website. And it's just up to you right now, you just have a thousand of stuff here to try out but you can save a lot of time if you use ff play i'll see you next time guys hope it was helpful bye bye